I found my old LG pad and uh, it's got all my anatomy pictures for horses on it and a lot more reference material for other things like humans and dogs and everything else I haven't been able to find it since I moved over a year ago and it's been probably three years since I've even used it I finally found it last night and I charged it up overnight and it's so nice to have it back again anyway time to get this neck right <clears throat> the uh, thorax goes into the back part of the jaw of the horse not the front part <laughs> like I had it and uh Yesterday, I just could not get in the mood to sculpt. And uh, I just, I worked on those armatures for two extra horses if I decide to put them on. And uh, so that's probably what I'm going to do eventually. But not right now. Right now, I'm just going to pay attention to the horse I got in front of me. Let's get started. Oh, and the heater's going. <laughs> Time to play with some clay. Okay, I cover this on uh, my instructional video that I've got on Vimo on creating a horse from scratch and also from on a couple other pieces, uh, videos. But anyway, I'm just going to cut out here and I'll come back when I get a little further along.
Well, because of the Thanksgiving holiday, I'm going to be taking a few days off this week. And I'll be back uh, Friday. I can remember back when I was a kid in Rhode Island when I was uh, back in the early 50s, probably 50, 1951, 52, around there. We'd, as a family, would go to Plymouth Rock, which was a couple hours drive from where we lived in Quonset Point, Rhode Island. And uh, we'd go to dinner at one of the big restaurants there in uh, Plymouth Rock. And I remember looking at the rock and thinking, wow, they stepped on that. Well, we don't know. <laughs> That's what the legend is, but we don't know. Anyway, um, then after we got done eating, we'd go through the old graveyard there and look for our, the names of uh, our ancestors on gravestones. My, uh, I'm related to two, two different families that came on the Mayflower, and I think it's through my mom, but I'm not certain on that. So Thanksgiving has a great deal of meaning for me. Although the initial holiday for Thanksgiving was to celebrate the uh, passage of the Constitution back in the 1790s, uh, George Washington declared it to be a holiday, wanted to celebrate the freedoms that we now participate in. I'm going to take a couple of days off and uh, just uh, enjoy this time of the year. I'm so thankful for all of you. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your viewership, and I truly want to thank those people who purchased my instructional videos. You make my year possible. And you make it possible for me to continue doing what I'm doing right now. And I want to thank you all. Love you all. And I pray that you're safe over the weekend. All right. I'll see you Friday, people. Good night. Please give me a like. And a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.